and you stop saying, oh, I can't travel. You can travel. You just have to find your way around it. No, if you could take it. No, you want to see me naked, naked, naked. I want to be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in as much as I can get from. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I budget for vacation. Summer's approaching. And I just want to share with you guys some of the things that I use personally to get my summer vacations or year trips together. <laughs> I have my book right here because I wrote things down, trying to get in a better habit of writing things down so I really don't forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if this video is for you, keep watching. So my very first tip I feel like you should do is plan in advance. So my husband, he just can't take off when he wants. At the end of the year, when December comes, he has to pick his off weeks. I'm a little bit more different. My job is more flexible. I can pick, honestly, whenever I want to take off, which is a dream. And it works better for our children as well. But he picks his weeks in advance. So I know first things first, I'm going to put my schedule towards his schedule. So that way we can have at least a family trip and we have our solo trip together. If you're a couple, you should definitely do that. Make sure you and hubby or your girl, your wife are getting a trip going on without your children. Yes, it's needed. So in a year in advance, kind of so I kind of know what his schedule is. So for instance, he has his first vacay coming up in July. So I figured, cool, we have a couple of months to plan our trip. And then from there, I just kind of do my, re I start to do my research. It's very important that you discuss when you want to travel. So I say to him, hey, let's go around this time. And then he'll try to get that week off so that way we can go on vacation. And it's very important that you do this because everything revolves around your finances. So you want to make sure that you have enough money left over after vacationing. You don't want to just travel and then you don't have any coins left. So my second tip is use sites that allow you to make payment plans. So by planning in advance, you know how long you have to make those payments. So there's a lot of apps that you can use to book your trips. I like to use, I prefer Book It. I use Book It probably nine times out of 10 if I don't use my travel agent. Um, and don't think that travel agents aren't good. I was in a group, a traveling group, and they were saying like, don't use a travel agent. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I was looking by myself, those prices were creeping up. But then when I got my uh, travel agent, the prices was literally cut in half for me and my family when we went to Cancun, when we took our kids out the country. And that was a true blessing because I knew what I budget for and I knew what I couldn't go over. So yeah, again, those sites, use those types of sites like Book It. There's another one called Apple Vacations. Use those types of sites to book your vacation, especially if you're doing all inclusive because it will really let you make them for all inclusive. So that way you don't have to worry about your food or your drinks. And if you are alky, this is definitely for you. But if you're a foodie, it's also great for you. And the kids will love it too. There's so many resorts you can go to that is very accessible for children. If you wanna see my video, when we travel to Cancun, go watch it. We stayed at the Royalton and the kids had a filled day. They had water slides and everything. My kids were so tired by the end of the day, praise the Lord. But yeah, so use those sites to get you going on your vacation and don't be hesitant to reach out to a friend who's a travel agent. Say, hey girl, I can give you some, some a tip or something to compare your prices. Nine times out of 10, you will meet someone like who will allow you to do that, especially if they wanna help you save money. So my third tip is travel off peak. Do not travel on holidays. Why? Because those days are when the places increase their prices and you want to know how I know because my anniversary my five-year wedding anniversary is around Labor Day do you know how expensive this weekend is costing me so for instance we're looking from Friday to Monday right the triple would be probably around if we do Friday to Friday to Monday 
the trip will be around over the $3,000 range, right? Because we're doing all inclusive. But if we book Thursday to Sunday, we're literally saving like $500. It's ridiculous. For the same damn resort in the room. That's what tripped me out. So don't travel on peak holidays because you will be spending a lot of money. So my fourth tip is maybe you can't go to an all-inclusive. Maybe you can't get on an airplane because you really don't have the money. Go on a road trip. Road trips are just as fun. We're actually going on a road trip in May for my daughter's birthday. We're going to Virginia. I like road trips. I love traveling, period. I don't care where it is. I just like traveling. I love to sightsee. I love to see what other states have to offer. And if you're like me, girl, get your car and go. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> I really like road trips. I just think they're fun. Of course, when you have children, it makes life a little stressful, but you have to find activities for them in the car, you know, get them their snacks and get them a phone. I don't care, be quiet. We're on this journey. I want to sightsee riding through. My goal is like, if y'all don't follow Glamazon Tay, I've been wanting to do this for so long and she like drove from Florida, I think to LA. I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to just drive through the different towns and sightsee, taste food, go to places I never thought of. I'm that type of person. So yeah, go on road trips. It will save you a lot of money and you can be able to get your gas and then budget, budget for it. Everything is budget. You have to budget. But if you're really trying to simmer down on costs, do a road trip. I know a lot of people that travel on a road trip to Florida because they want to save money when they have a lot of people going. So that's the nice. My fifth tip is get into travel groups. And I say this because you will be able to look at reviews. You will be able to find cheaper deals. You will be able to just ask people all types of questions that maybe you're wondering. Me, I, when I book trips, I'm the type of person I check YouTube, I check hashtags, and I check the travel groups and i do this because you see a pretty picture of a resort and half the time the resort don't look shit like what you looked at so for i like to see real photos so i hashtag on instagram or whatever site and then i look for it look at the resort i look at people's vacations a lot of people have their pages on public so you're allowed to see these photos i highly recommend you to do this and then with YouTube, I like to go on YouTube because like me, I like to vlog. So you'll be able to see people tasting the food, you know, going around in the country or just relaxing. You'll be able to see the vibes that that type of resort has for you. So those are my five quick, easy tips. Guys, traveling can be done. You just have to budget for it and plan. Those are the top two things that I can say in this video. If you didn't take anything else away, take that, budget and plan, plan your time, and you stop saying, oh, I can't travel. You can travel. You just have to find your way around it. And you stop saying, oh, I can't travel. You can travel. You just have to find your way around it. And don't be afraid to reach out to a travel agent. I know plenty. If you need some, shoot, they help people worldwide. <laughs> so until what, another video, guys, I will see you. And let's travel. We need to travel. We need to see the world. Life is too short to be sitting up in your house all the time. Travel the world, y'all, because I'm trying to tell you, it's so much to see. So, so much beauty in just traveling in this, especially in these times. You just get away. Traveling makes me a whole new person.